What is going on, everybody? We are just about to get into USM versus Siena. This is the first map, or sorry, the first match of the uh, ECAC playoffs for both of these teams. Um, and I saw the math pick, the math, sorry, the map picks beforehand. Uh, this, this was USM's pick. We've seen them play Li Zhong, like, I think in pretty much every one of their matchups, unless it got banned, I don't remember. Um, so we know they're super solid here, and I do want to comment beforehand, uh, Unknown Boat mentioned that they were undefeated this last season and Sienna was like 2-4. So he thinks it's going to be a pretty easy matchup today. But we are about to find out. A little bit of a roster shift going on too. Far Mercy coming out, super interesting. Ophelia actually getting walled off, ISO'd there. Not able, not able to get the heals. Not great for a tank to go down that quickly. Looks like USM's just gonna back out, give possession, wait for their tank to come back. So first fight going the way of Sienna. Still both supports and tank up for USM, but I don't think they've No, they got the they got that tank pick. So they do end up coming out on top that fight. Only giving up 25% too. Not bad at all. And Loron even getting some late picks too, staggering that that Kiriko for Sienna. Oh, again that wall causing issues for USM. Looks like they managed to all make it out alive, but Hirko will cause some issues. Try to look by getting a boop kill there. Kill's kind of going back and forth right now. I think this is still anyone's fight. Pretty important kill from lower on. Actually, just cleaning up right now. And I don't know what happened there. I think a misclick ult from Sienna. It sounded like unlucky. It's good. No good news for USM though. Uh, Unknown Bow still has that ult. Now Sienna won't have a counter for it. Looks like we're going to be coming into the last fight in just a moment here. We'll see what Trial Bike can do. You can tell he's looking for something right on this choke. There it is, but it's not actually going to connect. He's going to go down as well. Sienna just pulls it together there with a bit of an ult spam. I don't know what we lost for USM. I think... Uh, I think we lost two ults there, but Trilobite goes for the switch anyways. So USM definitely ahead right now on percentage, but Lijon can be a tricky one to retake. Actually a big roster switch from uh, USM. At least this time the wall not isoing Ophelia off. It's been a bit of a problem so far this map. But Ophelia just destroying that enemy tank. The rest of the team cleaning up behind. Unknown Bo still hasn't even popped ult. He's saving it for next game it seems like. They won't even need it. Sienna just kind of trickling back in, trying to get any OT they can, but 
That's going to be USM's first point right there. Pretty well played overall. It was interesting to see the roster switch up again. I don't know if there were any uh, new changes to Far Mercy or anything. But I haven't seen USM play that before. Let's see if they switch anything up again. If you can outthink your opponent, it's I think Trilobite's fight. been primarily just Reaper only from the games I've casted at least. Maybe there's a Reaper nerf, who knows. Oh, there we go. It's like he heard me. There was a little bit of a Kiriko buff too, so it'll be interesting to see Unknown Bow on the Kiriko pick. Again, the Maywall is causing so many issues. Ophelia barely making it out alive. So Ophelia, even, even with that low health, comes back, sweeps everybody, low run and Ophelia. Getting five between the two of them there. Again, first fight going the way. Actually, no, sorry, first fight went the way of Sienna last point. But USM coming out, coming out on top this time. Trailbite's gonna be in trouble with that wall. And somehow everybody is burning over there though. So much damage being pumped out by USM right now. USM's just about to have a bunch of ults too, so I think they're going to get him before Sienna. Oh, Feely goes down early though. I'm not really sure what happened there. There's a miscommunication or what, but USM's probably going to want to back off of this. Looks like they will. Smart play. Let's back up for a second and then come back when they regroup. There's that ult out of Ophelia and a huge anti as well. And Sienna's actually popping some ults too, but I think this is going to be USM's fight. That's a super big fight to win. They didn't have to use Reaper or Kiriko ult. And they even beat out a few out of Sienna, so... Now at 80%, Sienna's going to be coming in with barely anything. Oh, and it's massive from Trilobite. It goes down, but damage has been done. There's no way Sienna has a chance here. That's it, 2-0 on Li Zhang. First map goes to USM. Again, that was their pick, but they've just been super strong on that map, and they looked, again, super strong today. Let's see what this play of the game was from lower on. Yeah, that's when he hit that nasty dynamite. You can see the entire Sienna team just burning there. Alright, we should be good to go. Back on map 2 now, Eichenwald. Yes, I'm starting out on defense here. Grabbing a little bit of ult charge off that spawn. And they're mostly just running the roster we've been seeing out of them. Only difference is Trilobite on Sojourn instead of Reaper, so nothing crazy.
Ophelia starting off with a big pick onto their tank. It's definitely gonna force Sienna back here. I've always found this to be like one of the most annoying choke points in the entire game. We see the immediate switch out of Sienna now. Just trying to mirror the tank. Ophelia's charging this ult super quick too. We're probably going to see it in just a couple seconds. Maybe not. It's not even needed. You see just rolling right now. I don't know what it is, USM's damage output today has just looked ridiculous. On Li Zhang too. So we'll see if Sienna can put something together here. I don't think they've gotten a single pick go their way yet. Probably just about to get an ult fight in a moment. I don't know. Sienna might not even have stuff charged yet, though. Their damage numbers are pretty low. So USM just really running down the clock right now. Sienna needs some kind of pick. I see Bob come out now, too. Yeah, I mean, Sienna has like two options here right now, it seems like. They gotta build for ults and hope they can make something work with that, or they need to play for some kind of pick. Under a minute now, USM about to have four ults on the board. Ophelia's probably gonna get caught out here. I don't know if Unknown Bow's there. Rally comes out though. This is <laughs> this room is absolute chaos right now. So many ults down. I think USM's coming out on top. This is what the kill feed's showing. Through the chaos, USM pulls out again. 25 seconds left. I think that was most of the ults in the lobby gone too. They might full hold this on Sienna. Sienna has not even broken choke yet, besides getting to that room. Ophelia finding the pick there too. Trilobite onto onto the enemy Juno. That's it. This Reaper to at least try something, but that's a one on five. What can you do? USM. The massive full hold there. So we'll see how USM plays it for this next half. I, I know. Previously in the past, when they've gotten a full hold, I've seen them just go dive, dive straight to point and just try and get a tick, because that's all they need to win. They could really e easily get a 2-0 lead here, an early 2-0 lead onto Sienna, with how that half just went. Will we actually see the ball play, or is Ophelia just trolling? Let's see. Personally, I would be super happy to see it, but... We'll find out. It's actually happening. We're gonna see some ball gameplay and Far Mercy going on too.
Ophelia just going straight for point too. I love this play out of USM. Trial by finding that first kill on Sombra too. They trapped this tank in this room too. USM might make this quick. Lone Bow does go down though. And lower on too. It was looking good for them, but maybe that res will bring him back in it. Now all on Ophelia. It looks solid there for a second for USM. We'll see if Ophelia just goes back for the switch now or not. They tried the experimental fun comp, but probably just gonna go back. Bizarria even actually. Just counter picking it looks like. Oh no Bo goes down early there. They have the res, but Trilobite dies in the meantime too. I think we're on a four and four right now. Get a four on three. And the Kiriko down, going down too. USM just has two more kills to find. I think that might be game right there. Yeah, nobody has that retouch. USM. Starting out with a 2 0, they're already on match or series point. Check out this play of the game. Ophelia was looking super solid on that defense side. The USM was just like a just unclimbable wall. This choke point was completely unlocked. Yeah, super solid stuff. I'm thinking with the way things are going, we're probably about to see a 3-0, but um, I think we're moving on to push next. I don't know, it's somewhere in the picks. I think it's Colizeo, but we'll find out in a moment. Alright, we're already back. Map 3 was actually Esperanza, not Colizeo, so my bad there. But, yeah, you, for anyone who is just tuning in now, USM's up 2-0 against Sienna right now. This is a BO5, so they're on match point. If they take this, then they take the series. And they will advance. I don't think ECAC does any like losers bracket or anything. It's if you lose, you're out. If you win, you move on. So both teams want this here. Sienna's on their last lifeline. They're gonna really want to put up a fight now. We're seeing a Junker Queen pick out of Ophelia. I find that super interesting. I mean, JQ has been super strong, but there was a recent nerf, I believe, in the last patch. So I'm surprised to see it come out now. Maybe it's just map based. I don't know. Trilobite's probably going to get that opening. Oh, she's barely not able to confirm that kill. Nice kind of stuck out of position too. He's got Wraith to hopefully get away. Actually, the Juno though, back turn. I forget he even exists, so... That's a huge advantage to have going into this fight. USM takes it. USM doing a great job getting CN off of that high ground. Forcing them down onto the point. USM just shredding them down here. Nobody going down. This could be a roll, honestly. That's two fights going their way. That's going to be ults built quicker. And forward spawn. I think there's a real chance right now we see USM just bring it all the way without losing a fight.
they want to do that, though, they're going to have to counter ult Sienna. They can't just pop them before Sienna gets them and then win one fight and then lose the next, but... Let's see what they plan. Maybe Ophelia just goes for the ult right here. No, nah, no need! Trilobite! Taking down four. One with the shotgun and then three with the ult. I wish I, I was spectating for that. I didn't realize he was setting up for it, unfortunately. But with that... We might be looking at match in just a moment. USM has so much space. As long as Ophelia doesn't go down right here. There's the ult. There's the supports. USM again not losing any lives. That's a TK. Sienna's gonna be back. I, I don't know what they have for ults built up at this point, though. This might be the fastest map ever. Finally, we see some ults coming out of Sienna. Maybe it's enough. Ophelia's at least gonna go down. But so many other kills going the way of USM. That Orisa's gonna have to do something. It's rigged. I think that's it. Sienna just... Oh, the rally. The rally is their lifeline right now. Unknown Bow should pop the ult maybe? I guess not. What an incredible fight out of both teams there. Sienna somehow pulling that back. That rally out of their brig. Just at the right time. We see both Juno ults coming out in typical fashion here. USM's kind of down numbers there when they pop the ult, so... They're not going to be able to get too much use out of it. Trailer has somehow managed to get that kill on the Tracer, but... Actually, Ophelia finds one of their own. Just Jay and Ophelia though, and on critical health here. I don't think Ophelia's making it out of there alive. They have forward spawn, so they're right back in a second. Not too much space lost. It's really sad USM can't just barely can't pull off that that steamroll that we almost saw, but now Sienna has a real chance back into it. Laron caught out in the open. He might burn here. I think he has some heals. Oh, but the Tracer. That was coordinated out of Sienna. That was incredible. Now USM's in a really tough spot here. Actually, they somehow get down Sienna's tank, though. Jay trying to just do more damage. Might be enough, actually. Ophelia can just clean up the rest. We'll see, though. They probably just want to group up at this point. We do have a few ults charged here. I haven't been tracking too much what Sienna's on. Ophelia finding that super early pick on that Juno. Forcing up the rally at least, I mean... Yeah, she doesn't go down there, so that could actually be huge, although... Both supports going down for USM, they, they aren't able to make it out of that room. Oh, again, these fights are so close, but USM just barely coming out on the bottom there.
Under three minutes now. Sienna doesn't have too much space gained here. Only 23 meters. Yusem's sitting in a pretty good position right now. I guess they don't need to get too greedy. Let's see what Trial Bite's up to here. No ult charge yet, so just looking for a flank kill, I guess. It's gonna be tricky though, yeah, I don't think. Maybe though. At least it's coordinated from USM. The Elims right now. Ophelia with 26 and 3 KD. Here we go. U USM pushed all the way up towards Sienna's spawn. I love that play actually again. USM just being super creative, going behind there. That's the tank dead for Sienna. Well, Jay's a tough one to lose. That's going to be Rally gone. They had it charged. Oh, we're on an Ophelia though, still being a nuisance. Still making this doable for USM, even while down their Brig. Again, wait, that, that's it! That's game, I wasn't even looking close enough. Sienna pulled off point, the picks were enough, somehow. That's it. Again, this is a BO5, so that was it. 3-0 USM. They win their first uh, their first matchup of the playoffs. So yeah, unknown Bo called it. He said he said beforehand that he thought it'd be a fairly easy game based on just win rates of both teams. USM just had an incredible season. I think I said that at the start of stream, but I'll say it again. They've just that they're undefeated still, even in playoffs now. So, honestly, I think they have a real chance at contending for the first place in their division for ECAC. Um, but we'll find out next week, next Thursday, 8 p.m. Uh, I don't. I think their matchup is. I don't. The seeds are predetermined. I don't know who they who they can play, but uh, we'll find out next week. So yeah, thank you everyone who stopped by, and be sure to stop by next week if you want to catch the next playoff game.